Yo. Welcome to part 9 and in this part we are going to be rotating the legs. Alright, so let's get right into it without delay. So let me click on the right legs because we will start with the right leg. And by now we know that our animation begins at frame 1. So let me just change this to frame 1. And I'm going to go into... Well, let me move forward to see how the body is moving. Okay. So... This is behind the body currently, and then when it moves one frame forward, it should come in front. So we know that we'll have to alter the Z depth. So let me just go here, change this value, then change it back just to get that keyframe, and then move one frame forward, which is on frame two. And I'm gonna change this to maybe minus five, okay, to bring that up, all the way up. And uh, let's go back and see, okay. All right, so that is good. And let me click on the body to make sure, uh, to see where, where we are, where we're supposed to move next. Uh, also, notice as I scrub, notice what's happening here. The, the arms, well, the right hand is coming, or the right arm is coming underneath the leg. We'll have to fix that. That's because of the, the um, Z depth positioning for the arm, okay? But we'll come back. Uh, once we're finished and alter and make sure that that is um, where it's supposed to be. So let's go, let me go to frame 12. So we know that the animation is supposed to continue to frame 12. So I'm going to click back on my, uh, well, I'm going to go back to frame one and click on this here. Just move this slightly, then move it back to add a keyframe. I'm going to come all the way down to frame 12. And I'm gonna move this over to somewhere here, maybe here. All right, now based on how I constructed the leg, the leg right here, this looks very odd, right? So what we have to do is flip the legs. And um, it, it will look a bit, bit odd, but that's based on how I've, you know, decided to design the legs, but that is okay. So um, yeah, so we'll have to flip the legs. To flip the legs, I'm gonna go back to this frame, which is frame one, and I'm going to be flipping this uh, bone here, actually, right? So I'm gonna click on the um, the move control point, and we wanna search for that, we wanna search for local length scale, which is this, and whatever value you have, just change that value. Uh, I'm just gonna put a minus sign in front, okay? And then I'm gonna click back on uh, the move control point and change back that value to its normal state, okay? All right, and then now when we move one frame forward, I wanna change this value back to the minus state. So I'm gonna subtract that value. And then I'm just, notice how it rotates the leg. Don't worry about that. We can just rotate it back where it needs to be. Right, and we can see that the legs are now faced facing this side. Okay, again, it uh, based on my drawing here, uh, it looks a bit weird, but at least now the legs are facing in the direction in which they're supposed to be facing. Okay, so that is that. Let me click back on this. Scroll down just to see what we did. So yeah, we messed with the local length scale and we can see the keyframe here. I think it also went ahead and uh, we did some changes on the angle, All right? Uh, so yeah, uh, what I wanna do though is just to right click this and duplicate this frame, All right? So we can see that it goes back there. Okay, and once we go back to the first frame, we can see that the rotation has now affected that part. So uh, I think I'm gonna just right click this and duplicate. Okay, and it did not change that. So let me undo that keyframe and just rotate it manually here, like so. All right, don't worry if uh, yours go out of whack just as mine did. Uh, that is completely normal when you're rigging a character. So let me just position this 
as close as possible to where it was first. Okay. So let me just zoom in here so we can see our timeline better. So we have this movement going on now and that is looking okay. All right. Uh, and then it moves all the way down to here. And we know that at frame 24 is where it needs to go now. All right, so on frame 24, just gonna click on the move control point here and just move this over like so. I'm gonna move it a bit further away from uh, the left leg. Okay, so we, just so we can identify which keyframe is which. So the right leg is a bit further away from this one. Okay. Uh, and we can also, we could also go in and turn off the left leg. Okay. So that only, we're only seeing the right leg. And uh, let me just click back on the bone to see where we're at. The right bone. Okay. So we're here. Then what we want to do now is move it in front of the body, right? So let me come back to this frame here. And I'm uh, just going to duplicate these frames just to make sure um, everything is aligned. All right. Because it's within the same state here. So I'm just going to duplicate that frame. And uh, so when it's here, I'm going to go back to the right leg layer and I'm going to change the Z depth again. So this, uh, this keyframe here has the Z depth of the, the, well, the Z depth position is on top of the body. So we can just duplicate that because that's where it's uh, supposed to be right now. And then when we, when we move one frame forward, which is on frame 25, we can just duplicate the first keyframe, which has it underneath the body here. So let me just duplicate that and we can see that we get a nice transition on there in front of the, the body there. All right. So with that done now, the next step is that we'd have to rotate the leg again to face this direction, right? Uh, just as we did before. Uh, so let me go back to the keyframe for this and uh, let me just play around with this to see where I want to, to begin. So, okay. So we're going to start at frame 25 and then make the rotation at frame 26. So on frame 20, frame 25, um, just want to duplicate these frames again, All right? Duplicate, duplicate because it's still, um, doing it. It's still at the same position. And then I'm going to move one frame forward. And what I'm going to try to do is duplicate these frames because these frames are supposed to have the leg um, switching in, rotating in the other direction, right? If we can recall. So I'm just going to try to shortcut this and duplicate all of those frames. So let me just start with this one, which is the origin. Right click here. Let me see if that works. Duplicate. Okay. And it goes back there. Uh, we don't want that one. So. Uh, well, I'm, I'm just going to duplicate all of these and then we can move it back. Then duplicate this one. And don't worry about that right there. Then duplicate this one. And notice we're having some weird issues there now. But don't worry about that. We just need to rotate it back. Take our time. Okay, so now I see the problem. We did not have the the keyframe for the angle here because I noticed that I forgot that the angle also changes, right? So what we need to do is just to come back here and I'm going to duplicate this frame right here. And then for this one, we want to have this first keyframe here. And then we can see that it's right where it needs to be. And all we need to do is just to move this back over to this point here. So move it back to maybe a bit here, like so. So let me just go back and there we have a nice rotation going on, like so. Okay. 
right? So it's important to know which keyframe value changed. Uh, that way you can easily duplicate those um, keyframes over and over to make your life easier. Okay. Uh, so if yours go out of what, don't panic. <laughs> Just observe whenever you make a movement, observe where um, each keyframe will be added so that, you know, you can easily duplicate those. Uh, okay, so moving on. So once it's here, then moves, then moves, and then on frame 48, it's supposed to be around this side, which means it's supposed to be in its um, original position, right? So uh, I think what I'm going to do is let me, let me see. Let me click off of this and click on the body. Da 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 da. Okay, so. For this one, we had some keyframes on frame 36. Maybe we can do that the same thing with the leg. So let me just click on this keyframe here and go to frame 36 and just move this forward like so. So it's in this position. I mean, we don't really need to have a keyframe here. We could just move it all the way down. Uh, let me just move it here and then uh, so what I'm going to try to do is on this frame I'm going to try and duplicate well I'm going to duplicate these frames um, down to this part here okay uh, so I'm searching to see if just, just to have a look at all the keyframes that we need to duplicate okay so I'm just gonna duplicate this one duplicate and then duplicate this one and also duplicate this one. So let me just move back and we can see the movement here. So let me zoom out and press play. Okay, so it looks a bit odd and that's because of, again, how the leg is constructed, right? Just how the leg kind of um, comes forward here and curves. Uh, but it does meet that rotation and that's what we're trying to get. All right, so that is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish the the other leg because you already know how to to do the, the rotation for the, leg, for the legs now currently. So I'm just going to do the rotation for this leg and then I will continue in the next video because I don't want this video to get too long um, as our previous video did. Uh, Okay, so let me actually save this. And one thing I want to do before I end this video though is, I think in our previous video, I did not complete the hand. So let me go again and show you what I mean. I think I made a mistake, which is here. Notice how the hand, the thumb is pointing down while this is pointing up. Okay, so I just, I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> uh, so, let me just go back there and uh, let me see where am I supposed to, I think I'm going to have it flip somewhere, maybe here. So I'm going to click on the scale, control point. Let me see if I can duplicate this. So let me duplicate and then move forward. Oh, let me duplicate the angle as well. Duplicate and then move forward a bit and then duplicate these. Duplicate and duplicate. All right, and so that is where it's supposed to be. Okay, yeah. So just in case you guys were saying, well, well wait, you didn't um, complete the and. Yeah, I kind of missed that one, uh, but that is okay. Once we're done with everything, we'll come back and see where we can, um, you know, make everything better or fix whatever needs to be fixed. Uh, okay, so I'm going to wrap up now and uh, that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Yo. Yeah.